So yesterday we got the teaser trailer for what's going to be coming in the next grounded update. And of course, the big takeaway from that was the additional backpack slots. However, after watching it the first time, I went back and watched it a couple more times in slow motion, looked at it frame by frame, and I noticed several other things that I missed while watching it in real time. So what I want to do in this video is talk about the things that I missed yesterday and discuss what I think they might be. You can let me know what you think they might be in the comments down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the trailer off and we're going to pause it immediately right here at the start. You're going to notice that they kind of have the lights here. And I think that's to draw our attention to the center here, which is what happened when I was watching it. Because of course, in the distance there, you can see the new chairs, what look like chairs that are made out of the koi scales. But over here to the left and over here to the right, these look like things that are not currently in the game. Over here on the right, it's going to be a little bit clearer to see is these look like some type of floor spike traps, kind of like the ones we have right now. What, but they look like the spikes on these are much larger. So these might end up being a new type of trap for defense base defenses. And then over here, if we let it play a little bit and get a little bit closer, I'm not sure what these are. They might be turrets I or they might be the waft emitters. Maybe that's why they have these traps around them. Not exactly sure about that. But this is kind of the closest look we're going to get on that. But I definitely think these are some type of new trap because this looks like it's built just on the retaining wall in the upper yard near where the charcoal is. And it looks like these are going to be a new, like a new, at least one new trap. So hopefully we're going to be getting new traps in the next update. So let's play it a little bit quicker or a little bit forward here. And then once we get inside, we'll pause. So a little bit closer here, you can see these definitely look like some type of spikes over here. This does not look like anything that's currently in the game. And then we're going to pause here, of course. So I'm pretty sure I did mention this, that these look like they were Koi Scale chairs. Upon further inspection, it looks like the bottom's made out of Sunken Bones. The back is made out of a Koi Scale. And it looks like these are probably the eelgrass strands that we can get. So this looks like a new chair that you'll probably be able to make early on because you'll be able to get it from collecting the pond stuff. So more likely than not, I would imagine if they add this into the game as like a purchasable from the raw science shop, it'll probably, it maybe we'll unlock it by just analyzing things, but more likely than not, maybe it'll end up being behind one of the pond chips. So either the koi pond chip or the sunken treasure chip. Let's let it go a little bit farther forward. And of course the big takeaway was going to be here. This is going to be the extra backpack slot. So of course, when this was played yesterday, my first thing was, my first reaction was, oh my God, they added an extra row of backpack slots. So instead of having 30, we're going to have 40. That's amazing. Up here, none of these items look like they're new. I didn't notice anything new over here. However, down here, one thing I did not notice during the live viewing of it yesterday was there's actually three hot pouches here. So we have one, two, three. What this looks like is you're going to be able to actually allocate up to 24 of the 40 items that you have in your in, in your inventory, in your backpack to these hot bars. That's going to mean instead of having to fumble around and go back into your backpack when you're trying to grab something that wasn't in your original eight, maybe you had a different weapon and all of a sudden you need to swap to it. Maybe you forgot to put your meal or your smoothies or something down here because you didn't have room. Looks like now we're going to be able to go down and swap between three different hot bars. That's going to be a massive quality of life change. It's just going to make inventory management so much better. In addition to the extra 10 slots, just being able to do this. So you're not fumbling through your inventory when you're like in the middle of a fight. And then aside from that, I don't think there was anything else. We got the 10, 10 slots here. So I'm very curious how they're going to end up doing the unlock for these 10 backpack slots. It could be that they just we get them from the start. But with this message here, where did that pocket come from? I'm guessing it's probably going to be an unlock. I would imagine it's either going to be something where we either purchase it from Burgle via raw science, or maybe it's tied to a chip, or perhaps maybe they even have it tied to a mutation or some type of accessory, although there was no accessory in the slot there. So maybe it's a, it could also be a milk molar upgrade. So anyway, I just wanted to go back and look at all the stuff that I missed from yesterday, just so we can get a good idea of what we can expect. Definitely make sure you check out the dev live stream. That's going to be 4 p.m. Eastern, 1, 1 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday, November 16th over on the tw their Twitch channel. I'll leave a link for their Twitch channel down below so you can make sure you give them a follow. Game director Adam Brennicke is going to be on there and he's going to be answering, I, I'm not going to say every question that gets asked, but he's going to be answering He's going to be answering many questions that get asked. I'm sure they're going to talk about more stuff. We'll probably end up getting a date for when it's going to be coming. I would expect that obviously with him being on there on Wednesday, them just showing it off today, they're doing this charity live stream for three straight days. I would guess the most, the soonest we might be able to see it would be next Wednesday during the live stream. More likely than not, it would probably come either next Friday or perhaps the week after. So I'm guessing within the next week to two weeks, we're going to be able to have the extra inventory slots available, whether or not we get them from the start or if we're purchasing them somehow. I, Based on this message, I kind of feel like we're going to have to unlock them. So anyway, just wanted to put those things out. I'll leave a link to, like I said, I'll leave a link to their Twitch channel in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. And here's another video you might find helpful as well.